Hey everybody, this particular question was submitted to me by one of my subscribers and it involves the system of equations, particularly the one we want to focus on today is going to be substitution to solve this particular question. So to be able to understand this lesson, you need to have a pretty good background solving equations as well as rearranging them. So if at any point in this lesson you feel so lost and confused, you may want to go back and review those parts first and then come back to this one. So let's go ahead and read this question. It says Maria and Farida have 250 beads all together. After Maria used 18 beads and Farida gave away two-fifths of her beads, they now have the same number of beads left over. How many beads did they start out with? So it looks like we have some unknown bits of information, particularly the number of beads Maria has and the number of beads Farida has. It's unknown. We don't know how many they have. So in math, what do we do if we have unknown information? We pick variables. So we pick letters to stand for those numbers. So let's go ahead and do that first before we do anything else. That's going to be our first step. I thought it'd be convenient, since it's Maria's beads, to pick the letter M. That's how many beads she has. She has an unknown amount. We're going to call it M. Farida, her letter is F because that's her initial. Let's pick that as our variable. We could have picked X and Y, but let's pick these so we can keep track of them a lot easier. So now that we've established the variables, let's go back to the question and now we can start looking for those magical math words. What do I mean by magical math words? I'm talking about those words that tell us to add, subtract, multiply, or divide. Let's go back and look for them. Maria and Farida have 250 beads all together. Hmm. All together sounds familiar. So does and. Put them together. We're talking about addition here. So Maria and Farida have 250 beads all together. That's what it looks like. Maria plus Farida equals 250 beads. What does that look like with a picture? I love going back to visuals, guys, so bear with me on this. Um, here's what it looks like. Take Maria's beads, they're the red. Take Farida's beads, they're the blue. Add them together and you get 250. Maria plus Farida equals 250 beads. All right, so we're, we don't have 250 beads here, so you're going to have to play along with me. I didn't have time to make 250 beads. Plus, I don't know who's got more. I don't know if Maria has more or Farida has more. So I just kind of did this just to show you a visual. So just play along with that. What else do we know? It says next, after Maria used 18 beads, that also looks very familiar. This word, used, 18 beads. You know when you use things up, you're subtracting them. So we're going to take that information and convert it into M minus 18. Maria's beads minus 18. What does that look like here? It means take Maria's beads, just Maria, subtract 18. That's what happened. Let's finish the story off. Farida, what did she do? She gave away. What does give away mean? When you give things away, isn't that not subtraction? All right. Subtract two-fifths of her beads. We know the word of in math means multiply. We have to locate these words. They're so important. This means multiply. Two-fifths multiplied by what? Her beads. Do we know how many beads she has? We don't know. So what do we do? We just use this variable. So let's write it out. This is what it looks like. It says Farida. Look how it matches so beautifully. Farida, Farida, gave away, give away, subtract, two-fifth, two-fifth, of, multiply, her beads, <laughs> F, there we go, we built uh, uh, this part of the equation. Now you may wonder here, I hope you're not because you should know this, but if you don't, I'll review it. We, you, you may be wondering where's the multiplication sign. We don't use them anymore, guys. You just put them side by side, it means they're being multiplied. Let's finish the story. They have the same number of beads. Who? Maria and Farida have the same number of beads. So here's Maria's side. Here's Farida's side. Make them equal. They're the same number once this stuff happens. What's the rest of it say? 
how many beads did they have at the start? At the start, they had M and they had F. That's at the start. The problem is, I don't know how much that is. Okay, look, we're gonna have to do some math on this here. We're gonna have to solve for M and F. The problem with this is we have two variables. We have M, we have F. You can't solve an equation if it has two variables. So how do we fix this problem? You need to substitute, right? This is the portion of the lesson you gotta understand is you can't have two different variables. You gotta have one variable and one variable only. So we gotta either destroy the M or destroy the F, replace it with something. Okay, so you know what? Do we wanna replace the Fs or do we wanna replace the M? Let me ask you something. What's easier to do, switch out two letters or switch out one? Probably switch out one letter. So you know what we're gonna do is we're gonna find the value of M. We need to find out what M is worth in terms of F. So how do we do that? Oh boy, well let's look back at this side. In fact, let's split this up nicely, organize this work. Let's go back to this side. We've got a beautiful simple equation here. Could we not solve this equation for M in terms of F? Of course we can. All you gotta do is destroy the F. So minus F minus F. When you do that, you get M equals 250 minus F. 250 minus F is what M is worth in terms of F. So now what we do is we just take this, see this is the value of M, this is the value of M, see? M, that's the value of it in terms of F. And substitute it, so anytime you see an M, you're gonna switch it out with this stuff. Let's go here. Let's look, where's the M, where's the M, where's the M? That's not M, That's there's the M. So take the M out, pop it out, and put that in its place. Oh, so lovely, you know why? Because now look at this whole equation left to right is only made up of one variable. We substituted, we've now got one variable, now we can do the real math and figure out what F is worth. So can I, can I move this here? I, I don't think I need this anymore, I'm, I'm done using it. Let's move it out of the way and make some space and bounce this one up. Can I take a little pause here because I just wanna show you what this actually means here, this M equals 250 minus F, using a nice visual. You know when we said M equals this? Okay, here's what we're trying to say. To get Maria's amount, all we need to do is take 250, all of this stuff, take all of this and subtract Farida's bit, subtract it out. What's left over? Maria. Maria equals to 250, minus F. That's just a kind of a little visual so it all makes sense. So you know what I wanna do? I wanna rewrite this equation out. Just so it's um, a little bit more complete. So we'll go 250 minus F minus 18 equals F minus two-fifths F. Let's combine like terms. I have 250 here, and I have minus 18. I can combine those. What's 250 minus 18? 250, 240, 230, 232. So I write 232 minus F equals this side. Look, I can combine these two here. This is a one here, right? If you don't see a number, there's still a number there, it's a one. Okay, you gotta remember how to subtract fractions? Ignore the Fs, ignore those Fs. Just go one whole minus two fifths. If you take a whole pizza and you minus two fifths out, what's left over? You got three fifths remaining. Three fifths, let's put that F back. There we go. So I combined all of this and I turned it into that. Now here's my equation, it looks more simple, doesn't it? Okay, we gotta combine these Fs. Look, we have a F on the left side or a negative F and we have an F on the right side. Let's combine them together. So we have to eliminate this one. We'll go plus F. And on this side, we'll go plus F. So now what do we have? Well, these uh, are eliminated. So all I have left on the left side is gonna be 232. Equals now look at the right side. Ignore the Fs. 
Look at the numbers, the coefficients. Right? This is a one. What's three fifths plus one whole? You know one whole is five over five. Keep the denominators the same. Five over five plus three over five is eight over five. So we're going to write eight over five. F. Okay, we're, we're getting somewhere with this. Now we got to isolate F. So we need to get rid of that five. Let's do so by multiplying the numerator here by five. These cancel out. Go to this side, multiply this by five. Okay, well, what's five times this? If you had a calculator, you could do it. I don't need a calculator. Just go five times two. It's gonna be 10, carry the one, 16, carry the one, we got 11. 1,160 equals 8F. You know, the last step here is we gotta divide by eight. So let's go ahead, divide this by eight. Eights are gone. Divide this side by eight. Um, if you had a calculator, punch it in. Uh, we don't need one here. We got eight into this is gonna be one, uh, four, one, four, five equals F. Holy, we got this answer, guys. Look, F is 145. What does F stand for? It's right here. F is Farida. We know how much Farida has. Could we not figure out what Miriam has? Or Maria, I mean. Of course we can. Because look what this says. It says that when you add them up, you get 250. So we can just subtract 250. We can go, um, we can write it out like this. Maria plus, instead of F, I'm going to write 145 equals 250. Okay, could I not figure out what M is now? This is the easy part. Go 145 minus 145 here. Go minus 145 there. It's beautiful when you get this stuff, guys. Oh, look, these are gone. So I get 105 equals Maria. Maria has 105. And Farida has 145, and we did it using our substitution method. Guys, this stuff is pretty awesome, especially once you understand it. It stimulates your mind in ways that nothing else can. Guys, I love teaching this stuff, and I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed teaching it. And if you liked it and found it helpful, click the like button, write a comment down below if you have any other math or science um, questions that you want me to explain through video, please write it in the comment tab below and I'll do my best to create you a video. Guys, it was my pleasure. Thanks so much and I'll see you next time.